I was looking for this. After all, it is light that gives us sight. Light is such an integral part of our perception of the world that it is impossible not to get curious about its properties. Light gives us sight, but is this how we can see the objects in our surrounding? The answer is no. The light rays coming from the source of light like a laser, torch, sun falls on an object, the rays reflect back and reach to our eyes and this is how we see objects. Interesting, huh? I said light rays coming from different source fall on an object. Though, have you seen light rays falling on an object with your naked eyes? Yes or no? This raises a question, can we actually see light rays or not? Yes, light rays can be observed, they can be visualized through a medium of fine particles. You can see a ray of light when it is passed through dust of particles. And it is shown here, we can see light rays passing in a medium of smoke. Have you gone for hiking or have you visited a hill station? In fog or mist, you can visualize light rays during sunset or sunrise. Light rays are visible in a medium of talcum powder or soap solution also. When light rays pass through a medium with fine particles, those tiny particles get illuminated and we can easily visualize path of light. Cool, right? Coming back to our first observation, if light rays falls on an object and reflect back, can we see this reflection? Have you actually observed reflection when it is happening? The phenomena of reflection can be easily studied and observed on shiny and smooth surfaces. Mirror has a smooth and shiny surface and it can be easily handled. So, I'll be using mirror to understand reflection of light. Light being such an interesting phenomena, I am curious to learn more about its properties. This video will cover following concepts. Reflection of light, incident ray, reflected ray and normal. Let's do one activity. If we pass red and green laser through the holes made at different points on this letter C, can you tell what will happen? Red and green laser beams are reflected off a mirror. The reflected beams are looking laterally inverted on the paper. Green and red positions are also flipped. That's how letters invert. Interesting, huh? So does reflection of light happen in similar way in liquid medium? To understand this, we'll observe reflection of light in water. We have a transparent fish tank with water in it. We'll add some soap solution into it so that the path of light rays are quite visible to us. We have placed the mirror inside the fish tank. Now I am going to project a laser light on the mirror in the tank at this particular point. This point is called as point of incidence and the ray is referred to as incident ray. Here we can see that when we are projecting light ray inside the fish tank on mirror, light gets reflected and this ray is referred to as reflected ray. This middle reference line which is between incident ray and reflected ray and is perpendicular to the mirror is referred to as normal. The angle formed between incident ray and normal is an angle of incidence and angle form between reflected ray and normal is called angle of reflection. Also, I observed that the phenomena of reflection is happening in the same way in air as well as liquid medium. We will learn more about reflection of light in our next video.